And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fizz Lee Sin. We're going to be heading on over to Bandle City and trying out Lee Sin with Bandle City because Bandle City has so many ways to create spells and just a whole lot of spells as well. And they got these pranks. These pranks are going to be spells for leveling up Lee Sin. He had a super cheap. Um, they're going to be really good uh, cards for having like Lee Sin open attack, right? Like we need eight spells to level up Lee Sin. And then once we level up Lee Sin, we still want to cast more spells for the challenger barrier. You usually want to like cast the spells before attacking also. And so if you want to open attack, you're going to need some focus speed spells and uh, or burst, you know, focus or burst. And so these Otterpus making the pranks or the one of Benamuni also making the pranks. Those can uh, really help out your Lee Sin. But besides that, we have lots of other ways to make spells, whether it's Conchologist, Trinket Trade can make spells, or Otterpus to make pranks, lots of other things like that. Tons of card advantage in here. We got our Loping Telescope, we got our Bandle City Mayor, we have Aloof Travelers, right? Tons of card advantage in Bandle City, plus Pokestick, um, all that kind of stuff. A couple copies of Homecoming. Homecoming will allow us to recall all of these amazing units that draw more cards and create more cards, and plus slow the opponent down. Hidden Pathways to draw more cards, you know, all that kind of stuff. So let's see how this does. We'll have Fizz and Lee Sin together. Here we go. We'll go play our five games in ranked. I actually don't think there's that many mini morphs in the metagame. Like, there are a couple of mini morphs. <laughs> see, I haven't played against Lee Sin in forever. And the, the second we play a Lee Sin deck, we, we get paired against the Lee Sin deck. <laughs> it's crazy how how it works of how they just seem to always want to pair you against a similar region or like some you know similar deck <laughs> you know it's like i haven't played against lee sin since the new expansion came out like two weeks ago and the one sec the second i play a lee sin deck automatically paired all right so i kept the two pokey sticks because of zoe So there'll be an Eye of the Dragon deck. I originally had Eye of the Dragon in this version, but ended up just taking it out with all the other Vandal cards that we have. Hmm. Not the best choices. Still not the best choices. Rather hit like a, a loping telescope. defense. I'm going to take four. You know, we could block and stuff. I'm just going to take four. Aloof Travelers. Tenor of Terror. Those are good cards. Which would have created those for all the other ones, too. Make him discard Lee Sen. Oh, concussive, concussive bomb. So, they know, so we have that information now. They had no Lee Sen in hand, unless that's the brand new card that they're casting right now, which it is not. Can I use Syncopation and swap my Bandle City Mayor for their <laughs> Eye of the Dragon? No, I don't think it works like that. They're doing that, of course, to get all these different draglings. I think I'm passing. I think that's the play. 
<clears throat> so the question is, like, how much do we need to save Homecoming for Lee Sin? Or should I like Homecoming away the scatter pod, you know, with the aloof travelers? Maybe we have to save it for Lee Sin? It'd be kind of nice to put it back in their hand and then make them discard scatter pod. No, we probably have to save it, don't we? They have multiple Nopifies that we know about. Yeah, Triple Mayor versus Triple Eye of the Dragon. Alright, I'm fine with that trade. So one eye of the dragon down. We got to kill an eye of the dragon and get rid of a twin disciplines just for the price of a syncopation. Well, we know the pokey stick's gonna get nopified. We do know that. Alright, so that leveled up our champs. Oh, no, no, level up Fizz. We're almost there with Lee Sin. Go get him, Fizz. We should gain one mana for playing the Fizz since it costs two less and usually costs one. We should just net, we should just gain two mana. Welcome back, Mordecai. Alright, so you know this is gonna get hushed. Or not hushed, you, you know, sorry, nobified. <laughs> wrong wrong word. Interesting. Okay, so they get to keep their no so they're gonna keep the nopify. And allow me to draw a card. Interesting. Lisa! All right, we did find Lee Sin, finally. The dragon spirit awakens. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't notify to stop the draw. I guess, yeah, I'm surprised. They did get to draw a card themselves. Probably pulling the stun card.
We know a whole lot of their hand thanks to the pranks. And they don't know anything about our hand. I fight with the dragon fury. Force is meaningless without skill. Hey, there's the two cards we don't know about. Or no, 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 never mind. Oh, I thought I thought we grabbed that. Never mind. Okay, so another concussive palm. Might as well make this one cost six. The other cost eight. Bet you didn't see that coming. Just a briny deep. Oh, come on, come on. There's always an eight out of twelve. Eight out of ten already? They like just played that Zoe. Already at uh, eight? This could be bad if that Zoe levels up, I suppose. I don't really have any removal except for the homecoming. That's so, why well, I, I could play Pokestick, it just eats up the Nopify. But they already have played a Nopify. And I'm gonna waste mana anyway, so. Yeah. I guess we just make that trade. Mana wise, get the card out of their hand. Wow. I'm, again, kind of happy about that. Because I don't have any other targets for Nopify now. So I'll make them discard a cost Concussive Palm. Eh. But I do draw a new card. But so do they. They would rather have their random card. Like, that kind of helps my opponent out. The Aloof Travelers now. I guess they're never going to play it, so... Since we play the Aloof Travelers, we now have two Homecomings. We got a Homecoming back up. Okay, so no more Zenith Blades in the deck. So either they only had two Zenith Blade in the deck, or one of these two cards is a Zenith Blade. One of those options. Nine out of ten. Okay, I probably messed up. Alright, so if I try another homecoming, but then if they have a deny or, you know, like if they have something that stops it, we lose. So I could stress defense. The lease in. No. I, don't, I really don't want to do that. I'm going to try this again. I don't, I don't think they're going to be able to stop. I don't think they're going to have two. I don't think two of the three cards stops homecoming in their hand. And actually, I should have bounced the other Aloof Traveler, shouldn't I? And just put both Aloof Travelers back in my hand, because then the Will of Ioni... Yeah, I should just bounce this other Aloof Travelers. And just let both. Yeah, I should bounce the other one. Because I think... Because having both... Like, the Aloof tra Travelers are good for me to have. See, so yeah, I should have had them both in hand. So yeah, I could, I could just have this one in my hand if I wanted. Okay, 
and they're making sure to play multiple spells for these draglings. They still do have Nopify. I guess, and this just eats Nopify, doesn't it? Okay, maybe that wasn't the right card to take because of Nopify. I really should have bounced that other, my second Aloof Travelers, because I could have played second Aloof Travelers here and made them discard this Lee Sin. I'm sure I had the tools to win this game. So the thing about Vandal City, you have all the cards in the world, and if you don't win it, it's probably your fault. <laughs> you know, like it's it's not easy to play. for me. Does this eat up a spell shield? Yeah, okay. Fizz should be blocking like one of these things. Maybe should be blocking an eye of the dragon. So they didn't use the hush I knew about. Alright. Okay, so that game was definitely my fault. And still even like at the end, like I, I needed to challenge like the eye of the dragons and stuff. That that game was my fault. That was, it's not an easy game, right? It's not, but I had the tools to win that. That was a very difficult game, but I did have the tools to win and I didn't. Yes, this deck's, yeah, this deck's very hard to pilot. Just all these, especially a matchup like that, like that, that's going to be a very difficult matchup to pilot. But yes, whenever you, whenever you have, the more decisions you make, the more difficult the deck is, if that makes sense. And this deck has just an incredible amount of decisions and just Bandle City in general has an incredible amount of decisions. Whenever you're manifesting all the time, when you're choosing with these pranks, like ev everything in the entire deck is decisions. And so the good news is like every game's in your hand, but the bad news is whenever you lose a game like that, it feels bad because you because you just spent 25 minutes on one game and then you lost, and that's <laughs> your fault that you lost. I have Loping Telescopes in my deck, right? We never saw one last game. Yeah, there's three of them in the deck. Between having the three in the deck, plus also having these things to try to make Loping Telescope, we never saw one. Whoa! All four of these are champions? All four of those cards are champions. That can't be good for me. I 
Yeah, there's no way this is good for me. There's Sloping Telescope. Alright, let's... Maybe actually get aloof travelers? Try to make them discard some champions? Oh, they could protect from aloof travelers with this thing. Okay, chat saying that it's possible... Prank's a little bit bugged because... Uh, Zach and chat here were saying that played against Prank and it pulled a card from the deck even though there were other cards in hand that were not champions, so... Are right, playing Benamuni because Benamuni blocks Poppy. Looks like they don't care. Okay, looks like they do care. Am I supposed to take Tenor of Terror? Tenor of Terror or Poro Sled? Do I want like a 3 mana 5 5 or a 2 mana get a 2 3 and a 3 2? The 5-5 five is just so big and just really nice against Poppy and Lulu and stuff. I think I want the 5-5. Five five. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. Look, a thing. L, that's not ours. Yeah, Mini Morph was in hand way over here where like I could have taken the Mini Morph with the prank and I didn't. around to to do something that was a good prank making lo loping telescope cost two more that's a good prank Living Shadows allows me to recall the Aloof Travelers, which I'm going to have to do. But they do have protection from Aloof Travelers, unfortunately. It only checks at... Yes, this, this only checks at round start, not whenever there's 10. It only checks at round start. Yeah, I don't have any other mana for these in. Yeah, I don't have any other mana for Lee in. to 11. I can do additional 7 by like plus 3, plus 3, plus 1. That's not so reliable. It's aloof travelers. Aloof travelers could die to a pokey stick. So this this will keep them from at least round start creating 
you know, like, they have to round start create. Or, like, they get to round start create the followers. This will keep them from creating that follower round start. Possible this hits the Bandal Tree. I mean, Bandal Tree costs five. This Yolo Ranger costs five. I'm not sure exactly which one it hits. We made it! Yay! But our stuff did it. Hmm. All right, they got something else. Bandal Commando. That's an elusive blocker. The dragon spirit awakens. Beware the dragon spirit. I currently have enough mana for one twin disciplines and playful trickster. If that's the way we want to go. That was the wrong card to mini-morph. That was the wrong card to mini-morph. So sometimes you just have Lee Sin do that. You just, you know, have your opponent mini-morph the wrong card. They just mini-morph Fizz, then block Fizz. Okay, we are not playing against Lee Sin or Bandle City. But still Ionia. Stress defense could be nice against, you know, really big Viego. Oh, I love aloof travelers here, because it's not just like the Viego, but it's also that Hydrovine that is such a problem. And so the aloof travelers being able to discard Hydrovine is pretty nice. So I like this hand. Pokestick, not really doing anything, but you know, whatevs. Purple Berry Shake. Either Shadow Shift or Pokey Stick. Shadow Shift would like again pick up the Aloof Travelers. Let me recast that. I think that's what I want. They're probably playing Camivore and Soldier, and so I don't want to play something beforehand. Oh, that's a Pokey Stick target. How about that? How about that? Master. Just thinking stress defense against a very big Viego. There's the Camp of War and Soldier. Atrocity. Look, a thing. L, that's not ours. There's Hydrovine. I do this for her, for us. Man, they have all the heavy hitters. The price they pay for the fire. Immediately.
And since if Thresh dies, they'll still have somebody dying anyway, so then the Camivoran Soldier... Dying doesn't matter, but looks like Thresh will not die. But it's good to get that card out of their hand. So they don't have it for the lease in. It's not going to be easy to win. So it's not going to be easy to win. This deck's so hard to play. Extend your senses. Control one, control two, control three. I just don't I have no idea what to do. I don't know what to do. As the dragon wills. This deck's really hard to play. And of course, you know, like, it was the the perfect setup for my opponent of having, you know, like Diego. Like they had like the, the cards that they needed immediately. They had having both champions right away at the beginning of the game. Especially Diego on round five. So it seems like the one thing that our deck is missing though is removal. I have like the two copies of Homecoming and they've been pretty good, but we could definitely use more. Um, I could see just different removal inst instead of the stress defense. Also, instead of... There's been one other card that's been disappointing. Oh, like the Purple Berry Shake. Yeah, the one of Purple Berry Shake. Even the one of Syncopation. Those should probably just be more removal spells. Feels like that's what... Feels like we're missing that more than anything else. Yeah, we could definitely play like a couple copies of Mini Morph. I, I had it originally in the deck, but you know, as we were just like cutting stuff across the board, Mini Morph ended up going. Big Finger Magic, welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here on this Sunday. Hope you're having a really wonderful day. I'm just gonna discard the Vengeance, which I guess. I guess that's the thing. Yeah, this is over. All right, let's put a little bit of removal in here. Dragon claims us all. All right, so that's kind of what we noticed with our deck is that we just needed some some more interactions. We're gonna play one Buster Shot, two Mini Morph, get the third Homecoming in here, and we're gonna have those three cards. Um, that should give us a little bit more interaction. So there we go. Let's try this out. Yes, yeah, Ion definitely a big problem. Viego, anything like that, definitely a big problem for us. Hopefully against these Poppy decks. While the mini morph isn't very good against Poppy, hopefully we just have enough cards and everything just to kind of throw out there and just enough bodies and all that kind of stuff. You've been seeing too much Scion recently.
All right, so make Loping Telescope a 0-1 vulnerable or Bandle City Mayor a 1-2 can't block. Yeah, Concussive Palm, yes, you can play Concussive Palm to counter Scion and, and Poppy, I agree, but Concussive Palm's not going to be any good against Viego, and that could be a problem. Viego or Lee Sin, like the two, the two things that we lost to so far are Viego and Lee Sin, like, so like these really big, uh, powerful champions. I like making that trade because of Poppy. Man, they have so many loping telescopes. It's round four and they've already played three loping telescopes. I'm pretty jealous. I've only had one. Oh, and it's been... So the Bandle City Mayor made a loping telescope, which made another loping telescope, which made something else. That is what really makes this deck so strong, is that... Uh, just card advantage. Let's take A, the, the messenger. What you got? Give either one minus one power and vulnerable. Go to this thing. How close are we? Five. Could definitely level up Lisa in this round if we want to. If we want to, if we want to play the Sonic Wave. No, I don't have any way to give Lee Sin Overwhelm. That's not really what this this deck is, is definitely more, you know, outgrind them and can you know and everything like that than just combo kill them with Lee Sin real fast. We're definitely trying to play the late game here. I would put the aloof travelers back in their hands. I do not want that aloof travelers going back in their hands. Because then they get to replay it again. I don't want that to happen. Uh, since they're a poppy deck, I like trading kind of across the board over here, though. And so my opponent had the mini morph for my Lee Sin. Talk about cards that we wanted to put in the deck for this time. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Have them get rid of that Yordle Ranger. Alright, team. Adventure time. Uh, 
Oh, man. Tough choice. Aloof Travelers or Loping Telescope? I, should make a speech. Uh, I think the Travelers. More Travelers? Or Equinox this thing? So my goal to get rid of the Bandle Tree is to Homecoming it and then have them discard it. For that to happen, I probably need two Aloof Travelers. I'll have to just figure out something else for this 4-4 four, four Elusive. So these are two cheap spells. They could play both of them. That's good news for my Aloof Travelers getting rid of Bandle Tree. Should have played Starlit Epiphany. So that mini morph's gonna have to go. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. They have Rasa also? It's not going to be easy to get rid of this bandle tree. Look, a thing. Elf, that's not ours. Gosh. Because they still have the mini morph that's more expensive. Yay. Oh no. Oh, right. Yeah, never mind. That gets rid of my mini morph. Okay. Actually, no, we're okay. Never mind, we're okay. No, I need them to cast that mini morph. Ugh, I need them to cast that mini morph. Oh, actually, no, never mind. What I what I want to do doesn't work anyway. So I'm bouncing this to make it so they don't get to round star create the new follower. No ravenous flock from them. They just wasted their three mana instead of ravenous flocking. Wow, two of the three puff caps on the very first card? That is some really unlucky puff capping. They just keep getting such expensive cards. I'm not going to let them, you know, get to the 8, 9, and 10 very easily.
I feel like they have another ravenous, a second ravenous flock in hand. That's why they're doing that because they want that to go through. But I don't want them to draw a card. Also, so that's going to keep them from drawing a card. But like, if the one damage went through, then they'd have like the two flocks. Like they flock once, and I say no, and then they flock again. I think this should work. We got rid of like their mini morphs, and if I read them correctly of them having another ravenous flock, that's not going to help them. So I think that this Lee Sin is going to kill them. Like that's that's my plan. And there we go. The plan worked. All right, two and two. Glad we had that third copy of Homecoming in our deck. You know, we drew two of them. All these. And Draven Scion. All right, so this should be another matchup where adding in the Homecoming, adding in the Mini Morph should help us out. I think we'll go ahead and send this Hidden Pathways back just because we're probably going to need to spend all of our mana early on on affecting the board, even though we would be able to create two cards immediately. Get him, Fizz. Or not. Or not. Mm. Do I want a Moon Glow for Lee Sin? Mayhaps. Probably more than a Proto Poro. This isn't going to really be able to do too much. Let's just save the life. had backup fizz the whole time. The party has okay, this card, not so good here. <laughs> I guess, guess we're taking Otterpus. Alright, get excited, cost 5 mana. But that's why I was saying that the uh, Fizz wasn't going to be doing too much. I should play this otter post first. Could have saved four life, but oh's well. Force is meaningless without skill. Another get excited? Do they discard? No, yeah, so they have two get excited in hand. So I'm making that cost five as well. I could have made this. Other thing, you know, one power, you know, one power, and basically just destroy that Poro Cannon. But they would just, just, they would just discard that Poro Cannon to, or like the Daring Poros. Sorry, they would just discard the Daring Poros. So it wouldn't have been that big a deal. Hmm. All right, so let me kill all their stuff.
Well, they have all the cards in the world. So what do they want to do with all these cards? And I need one more spell. For level up Lee Sin. Wonder if they're gonna be able to if they want to play a scion. I mean we know everything about their hand except for these two cards. No scions around. So while I could play the Twin Disciplines and do more damage, there's also just no reason to do that. Because uh, I don't want them to know that their life total is lower. You know, I don't want them to think that their life total is low and play differently. You know, like, we can surprise them with, like, a plus 9 next round. Like, we can... So, like, right now, Lee Sin's doing 13 damage next round with Triple Twin Disciplines. We'll have to try to find something with, like, our Trinket Trade. Maybe we find another Twin Disciplines or something. The enemy quivers with fear. Draven down. Draven down. Only one card in hand we don't know about. Right now, we, we could have all this stuff pretty well covered. I can... I could play an Otter Puss this round and play a prank. But I'm just going to wait till next round. I'm just going to pass. We shall see if they go Scion... We have Homecoming. The Homecomings have been really good. I'm glad that we're playing the full three of them now, after the first two games. We got a resub. Two months now, Sensual. Thanks for cont continuing that hype. I appreciate that. I'm kind of guessing they're not here anymore. I don't want any of these cards. I don't know, I guess. You have impact, I guess the thing that has impact. Or got disconnected. Okay, they're back. Looks like it was a dis disconnection issue. Okay, so no... Um... No, what's his name? No Scion. So this puts me down to nine. Right, let's see what we get here. There we go. This is much better. I can just use a group shot. I get to hold on to the homecoming. That's much better. And they made Mystic Shot cost one mana. Wow. Alright, here we go. Plus three. Plus three. Plus three. And it's not quite lethal. I'll still do it also. If they, they can use, they can stay alive here. They can block. Oh, I was supposed to challenge. I didn't challenge. Why didn't I challenge? Oh, no. Okay, well. Just disappointing end. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you just sit around for a while. But disappointing end, but. There we go, there's Lee, uh, Fizz, Lee, Sin. We ended up going three and two and won both of our games after we switched up the deck a little bit of just putting in the mini morphs and getting that third homecoming. Definitely glad we got that third homecoming in the buster shot, right? Like we, we have all the bodies and we have a lot of card advantage with all this stuff. 
but we just needed the interaction, especially for some of the more expensive champions. We lost to Elisa and lost to a Viego. Um, I would like to play those matches again, especially the Viego one, especially now that playing a couple copies of Minimorph. That one, that matchup, probably not so bad anymore. Um, but that, so there we go. So that hopefully fixed the, fixes the deck a little bit. The homecomings were pretty clutch. Getting rid of the Bandal Tree, being able to bounce the landmarks, recalling landmarks. Uh, did that in a couple of different games. And, uh, you know, we have our aloof travelers, our Bandle City mayors. We want to make more aloof travelers or more loping telescopes and everything like that. And that's that's the deck, you know, like it's just Bandle gives you all this card advantage and all these cheap spells. And we're playing all these pranks and trinket trades for, for more spells and conchologists for more spells and everything like that. And so we're ending up being able to play a lot of bodies yet still have a lot of spells for both Fizz and Lee Sin. Never... You know, ne it was never an issue having enough spells for Lee Sin. All right, so that's it here, though, for Fizz Lee Sin. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. And feel free to leave those comments if you got other ideas to improve the deck um, or anything like that. If you try it out yourself, let me know how it's going for you, because I think this could be a pretty good Lee Sin deck these days. But that's going to be it here for Fizz Lee Sin. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.